What I want to talk about is a tweet that was put out by the Axia handle this morning. Uh, it was all about a prominent VPOC. Now, prominent just means when a VPOC actually stands out. Okay, now a VPOC is nothing more than the price at which the most volume uh, was traded on any given day, uh, and prominent just means it sticks out. Now, if you look at, for instance, uh, if I get a, a bad, almost a bad VPOC. Okay, when you have a bad VPOC, it just simply means that there's a number of prices that could have potentially been a VPOC. For example, if we look at the 30th of May, we could have had the 15s being the VPOC, we could have had any one of these prices, there were maybe four or five candidates that could have been the VPOC. So, a prominent one, as you can see here, it was either one of these two prices, 32 and 33. Now, when you have a prominent VPOC, it does tend to get tested for one, but also there's a higher probability that it could offer a trade opportunity. And as we can see, very early on this morning, once it tagged that VPOC, we got a little bit of a drive lower, uh, and that's when the break, or that's where the break uh, came from. So let's go have a look at the ladder now, and let's actually watch uh, you know, what this uh, would have looked like in uh, real time. So as you can see, what you got in front of you is, uh, obviously, we're going to move this chart away. Um, let's get this on. Okay, so we can see the German Bunds have come up there. This is our German Bund. Uh, note the VPOC is the 32s. Um, and we can see, you know, again, the one trick to a prominent VPOC or even to any prominent price, you should never, in essence, get the actual price. Okay, if a price is a very strong price point, uh, you know, where a lot of people are going to intervene, you should highly likely not be getting uh, that price. So we can see the market came up to the 32s and note straight away three lots traded at 32s. There was zero interest to actually trade uh, you know at those higher uh, prices so note obviously once the market realized this once you know the anyone long cottoned on to the fact that you know there was no buy side through the top there uh, you'll notice obviously you know as the minute this goes off in the 31s trade the market very quickly auctions lower and we see quite an aggressive uh, seller step in so a very good example of of you know not just a VPOC trade but any level in general if you've got a high conviction area in the market where you feel you know only sellers should step in in this example Right, the market should be very reluctant uh, to see buyers at those higher prices. So straight away we can see there a little bit of a reload on the 31s, 600, 743, 800, 900, almost a thousand contracts traded at the 31 uh, once it won once it went off it. Now you'll notice obviously once uh, you know once this buyer stops buying it off the seller, uh, you'll very quickly see how the market decides or, or how the sellers decide to step up and become a little more aggressive in terms of the sell side price action. So again, note we can see another 500 lots sold at 31 and straight away the seller hits a thousand at 30 and straight away offers 29. Um, you know, so we can very quickly see again market goes bid up 30 and you're going to very quickly see that seller now who is selling at a 30 who is offering the 30 is going to start offering this lower and more uh, aggressively down the page. So again, reload the 30 and straight away offering the 9s. And we're going to see this sort of price action the whole way down where we get you know, a reload or a seller reloading the higher price and the minute he doesn't get that buyer buying it off him, he hits the next best price. So this is very, very typical around very good levels. Uh, again, the only caveat, do note, it is roll week. Okay, so traditionally uh, in the roll week, price action tends to be a little bit more confusing uh, and, and that's important to understand as well. So again, note obviously, uh, straight away seller hits 29s. Uh, we can see no one buying now, no more counter bid. Uh, and this is where it becomes interesting. So the minute we see that counter bid disappear, that is when the seller steps up the selling, okay? And that, that makes a lot of sense yeah, because, you know, if you're a seller looking to get a big position done, you're not going to sell aggressively while someone's still buying it from you. Um, so, again, we can see there the buyer lifts back on the nine, so the seller's still getting what he wants. Um, and so long as there's someone still buying it from him, he's not going to be aggressive. The minute that buying stops, that's when you'll see the aggressive move. So again, note the reloading. First, we're reloading 31s, then we're reloading 32s, Oh, sorry, 31s, then 29s, and then 28s. Now note, no more counter bid. Okay? And once that counter bid disappears, we're going to see that market move uh, just a little bit more aggressively. Okay, and 27s trade. 
Again, note now, earlier on we had a buyer lifting 1,000 lots at 30, uh, 31, then 800 lots at 30, a little bit less at 29, and now he's lifting a mere 100 contracts uh, at 28. So we can really see, uh, you know, the seller here uh, going to start becoming a little more intentional. Uh, he's going to try and get his, uh, his uh, order done a little bit quicker. So again, straight away, hits the 7s, reloads the 7s, hits straight into the 6s. Uh, and again, this continues now for the next uh, couple of uh, you know sessions. So again, I'm going to leave you that. You've got the basic understanding of what an absorption reload and offer looks like. Uh, you know, obviously we have got the replay functionality at Axia, so you're more than welcome uh, you know, to go and watch this back, watch the price action in your own time, make the interpretations of what you've seen on the ladder. But the basic understanding is that at higher prices we could see a very aggressive buyer uh, and the seller intentionally taking the offer and he took it all the way down and once that buyer stopped buying and he gave up buying we then saw the seller become a lot more aggressive and that happened to be the top of the session.